Okay, I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah. Well, welcome to another episode of Rather British Review. As I review an incarnation of the scare-tastic ID software shareware to Dwayne The Rock Johnson Hollywood Snorefest, known as Doom. So let's not call it a comeback, ladies and gents. Doom is a fun game which lets you tear into the undead and slaughter the masses as you attempt to find out what the heck happened to your fellow colleagues. This also allows the undead to kind of possess people and be scary. The new Doom has an intriguing backstory with some fun humour and also if you take your time to listen to the company announcements as you wander around the Oasis facility, they're awesome and fantastic. You can kill your enemies with rather unique and disgusting ways as you go through a rather monotonous level design. The enemies are a mix of bloody disgusting and Cronenberg-esque metal made flesh. Each stage has a streak of splattered crimson goodness and the mechanics of the main game have kind of changed to incorporate some awesome new features including the glory kill. It's not porn, I swear. With different levels of difficulties in the game, it's great for those who like it rough to those who scare easily, as it gives you various weapons, melee attacks, and an option to get a lot more health than you need. The game is also fun with those with an itchy trigger finger who just want to let go. The biggest issue with this game is that you cannot complete missions without killing hordes and hordes of monsters, and it also takes you rather monotonous ways to obtain key cards in order to open up doors. It's kind of one of those games that thinks it's a thinking person's game, but merely more of a kind of let your hair down splatter gore fest type of game. It's one of those that just leaves you at the stage where you find it painstaking and frustrating to get from A to B. I found myself getting bored with the campaign that I would have to shut the game off and play something else until I had the motivation to deal with the damning effects once again. And the multiplayer kind of left me feeling unfulfilled. It felt like a rather generic comparison to games like Overwatch and Destiny, which focused a lot more on multiplayer aspects and gave you more fulfillment with the extra weapons and armor. With these issues though, I do find the game rather fun in moderation. It gave me a chance to enjoy the whole aspects of the game and let my hair down, and it also made me feel a little bit nostalgic, but gave me some no frills fun. The game, however, does have a limited shelf life, and if you're a hardcore gamer, you may not find it as appealing as those who have played Doom before. Now down to the score. Between 1 and 5, I give the game a very, very nice 3. It's something special, and in comparison to its predecessor, it's very, very enjoyable. But I would wait for the price to drop, because in terms of the game itself, I do not feel that it's worth a full 60 bucks. But still, get the game and enjoy its rather slashy goodness, because I think you won't be disappointed with the amount of blood and gore that it has. So that's it from me, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall leave you knowing that the effects of Halloween are over, and we're now going on to Christmas where we get to put up our trees and sleigh bells and stuff like that. But yeah, I know I'm a little bit late with the video, but still, I am just Michael Bam for a rather precious few saying that I've got to play Hablu. <laughs> oh Lord, I really just need to stop doing that. Peggy 18.